Hi guys, welcome back to Engineer's YouTube channel. My name is Patricia Bermudez and I will be your host for today's video. And for today's video, we will be discussing the Carnot cycle. So the problem states that gaseous nitrogen actuates or operates a Carnot power cycle in which respective volumes at the four corners of the cycle, starting at the beginning of the isothermal expansion, are V1 is equal to 10.1 liters, V2 is equal to 14.53 liters, V3 is equal to 226.54 liters, and V4 is equal to 157.73 liters. Calculate the thermal efficiency of the cycle. So we are given four volumes and we are being asked for the thermal efficiency of the cycle. So we know that the thermal efficiency of the cycle is given by this is equal to minus Tc over Th. And Tc is the colder temperature. And Th is the hotter temperature. So the question here is, paano natin makukuha yung Tc over Th if we are given volumes? Well, this is where the Carnot cycle comes in. So for, for, for us to illustrate the Carnot cycle, we have to draw a P, PV diagram. So there is um, P at the y-axis, and then there's volume at the x-axis. Okay, And then the first process that the Carnot cycle undergoes, as stated in the problem here, is that it undergoes isothermal expansion. So that is represented by this line. So, ayan. isothermal expansion. And then after that, it goes through adiabatic expansion. So, both are expansions. But then after that, it goes through isothermal process again. But instead of expansion, it undergoes compression. And when we compress something, the volume of that thing becomes lesser. Kasi nga, nakakompress. Therefore, in this diagram, kung nandito na yung volume niya, in this, in this stage, if it goes through isothermal compression, babalik siya. Okay? So, it will be represented by this line. Okay? And then, after that, it undergoes adiabatic compression. And it will be represented by this line. Yeah. Abaan ko yung isothermal dito. Yeah. And that is the four processes in a Carnot cycle. And then this one is represented by one. This corner is the first um, stage na panggagalingan ng nitrogen natin. And then after that, it goes to point two or this corner two. Then after that, corner three. And then corner four. So ayan sila. And then it goes back to corner one. Process one. Stage one. Okay? And then from here, we can um, relate temperature and volume by first um, listing down kung ano ba yung mga constants at the different stages. So we know that from stage one to stage two, ang um, process natin is isothermal expansion. Okay? And in an isothermal process, whether expansion or compression, alam natin na ang temperature is constant, right? Kaya nga isothermal, right? So from here, ito yung isothermal. So we can conclude that from point 0.1 to point 0.2, the temperature is the same kasi it is isothermal. It's an isothermal process. Therefore, we can say that T1 is equal to T2. Okay? And then from 2 to 3, it goes through adiabatic expansion. And ano ba yung expression in an adiabat adiabatic process that relates temperature and volume? We have this expression, right? We know that T1, V1, gamma minus 1 is equal to T2, V2, gamma minus 1, right? But then it, in here, hindi naman yung 1 and 2, hindi naman points 1 and 2 ang adiabatic, it's points 2 and 3. Therefore, we have to replace the subscripts here. So it'll be T2 
and V2 gamma minus 1 is equal to T3 V3 gamma minus 1. Kasi ito yung adiabatic here. Okay? And then from V2 4, it goes through, again, isothermal siya. But it's not expansion, but compression. Still, yung temperature here ay constant. And yung temperature at points 3 and 4 ang constant natin. So therefore, T3 is equal to T4. And then finally, it goes through an adiabatic compression. And in here, we also relate temperature and volume, but at points 4 and 1. Okay? So we know that T4, V4, gamma minus 1, is equal to um, T1, V1, gamma minus 1. So alam na natin kung ano gagamitin natin, di ba? Ano ba yung nagre-relate sa temperature and volume in this um, cycle? Yung eto, 2 to 3, and then 1 to 4. Yun yung nagre-relate. And alam ang gagamitin natin? Eto, as well as this. But then, how do we know which one is the hotter temperature and which one is the colder temperature? Well, dito na napapasok ang analysis natin using the PEV diagram. Okay? Alam natin na from the ideal gas law that PV is equals to NRT. Correct? And we know that uh, pressure is directly proportional to temperature. And what does this mean? Kapag mas mataas ang pressure mo, mas mataas din ang temperature. And in this diagram, um, ito yung zero mo. Ito yung origin. And then if you go up from, from zero, tumataas yung pressure. So, alin dito? Sa points 1 to 2. Ito kasi constant yan eh. Constant temp. 43, constant temp din. Alin dito yung mas mataas yung pressure? Ito, di ba? Yung points 1 to 2. Kesa sa points 3 to 4. Mas mataas ang, press, ang temperature ng T1 at T2. Dahil mas mataas ang pressure. Therefore, we can conclude that Tc is equal to yung colder temperature natin. Ano yung mas, ma mas, ma mas malamig? Ito yung nasa baba. Kasi mas mababa yung pressure. So Tc is equal to T3. And that is also equal to T4. And then yung hotter temperature natin is um, T1 and T2. Ayan. T1 is equal to T2. And then T3 is equal to T4. So, yes, thermal siya. And then from here, pwede na natin gamitin yung um, adiabatic relations natin to find Tc over Th. Okay? So, Tc over Th. Alin, alin yung pwede natin gamitin? Either this one, T4, T4 and T1. Kasi isa dyan ay hotter, isa dyan ay colder, or this one also. Isa dito ay hot and this isa dito ay cold. Okay? So, let's choose. Okay, let's choose this. T4. Let's use this. So, using um, process 4 to 1 where T4 V4 well, minus 1 is equal to T1 V1 well, minus 1. Alin yung dapat ma-retain sa, sa numerator? Kasi TC ang dapat ma-retain, di ba? TC. So, TC natin ay yung T4. So, dapat siya yung ma-retain. So, T4, ano yung hotter temperature natin? T1, right? Is equal to, eto, transpose natin here. Tapos, eto, ma-retain yung V1 and then yung V4, ilalagay natin sa denominator. So, V1, gamma minus 1, is equals to V4. Gamma minus 1. So, factoring the exponent will be equal to V1 over V4. Raised to gamma minus 1. Okay? So, that is our Tc over Th. So, now we just have to calculate for the efficiency. And we know that efficiency is equal to 1 minus Tc over Th. And therefore, is equal to 1 minus in Tc and Th over Th natin ay equal to V1 over V4 gamma minus 1. Okay, and then yung V1 natin. Yung V1 natin ay 10.1 liters. And yung V4 natin 
ay 157.73 liters. 7.73 liters. Raised to gamma. And our gamma for nitrogen. Nitrogen. And this one is diatomic. Where gamma is equals to 1.4. This is 7 over, 7 over 5. Yeah. It is 1.4 minus 1. And we have to take note also na yung Tc over Th natin has to be unitless. So therefore, itong nasa loob ng uh, fraction natin, naka-raise exponent, it has to be unitless as well. Dapat makancel yan. Okay? So for example, yung isa liter, yung isa cm cube, dapat i-convert mo yung cm cube to liters para makancel sila. Okay? And calculating, we have efficiency is equal to Zero point six 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 nine zero nine zero five three eight. So converting that into percentage, it'll be sixty six point seven percent approximately. Okay, but then, ito yung ginamit natin yung four to one. Pero ang tanong kapag ginamit ba natin yung two to three, ay same din ng efficiency yung makukuha natin. That's where we check. So let's check and let's see. We know that using um, points 2 to 3, laging adiabatic lang yung pwede nyo gamitin kasi yun lang naman yung nagre-relate sa temperature and volume here. So yung 2 to 3 natin, we know that T2, V2, gamma minus 1 is equal to T3, V3, gamma minus 1. And ano yung hotter temperature? And ano yung colder? Yung colder natin yung T3 and yung hotter ay yung T2. So yung T3 ang dapat nasa numerator. So Tc over Th is equals to T3 over T2. And when we transpose this here, mareretain yung V2, gamma minus 1, tapos mapupunta sa denominator yung V3. So it will be equal to V2, gamma minus 1, over V3, gamma minus 1. And then factoring that will be V2 over V3 raised to gamma minus 1. Therefore, efficiency natin will be equals to 1 minus Tc over Th. And that is equal to 1 minus V2 over, over V3. And ano yung V2 natin? Yung V2 natin ay 14.53 liters. 14.53 liters. And then yung V3 natin ay... 226.54 liters. And then that is raised to 1.4 minus 1. So calculating, we have, again, makakancel dapat yung liter natin. So calculating, we have 0.66669000432. And that is also approximately equal to 66.7% efficiency. And that is our solution for the problem. And we have verified na it is indeed the same. Kahit alin gamitin mo, kahit process 2 to 3 or process 4 to 1, ang uh, makukuha mong efficiency is the same kasi it should be. And that is the Carnot cycle. So that is our solution for the problem. I hope you guys learned a lot from today's video. Thanks a lot for listening and stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.